One sunny morning, a group of scientists got together to search for a very special animal. Aha! Professor Buckler! Oh, Professor Wolf! Oh, oh, uh, are we ready to set off? Certainly are, Professor Hijinks. And I couldn't be readier to... <laughs> got the binoculars. The water bottles and maps. Then, let's go! someone else who also wanted to go on the search for the special orange-crested chimpanzee. Ah, another scientist has joined us. You are Professor... Ooh, ooh. Ah, ooh. Professor... Ooh, ooh. Very glad you're here. Very glad, very glad, very glad. <laughs> We've never seen an orange-crested chimpanzee before, so we'll have to keep a very close watch for any chimp-like creatures. Mm, now, we know the chimps are very good at copying. Ah, very good copying, Professor Oo. <laughs> Just like the orange crested chimpanzee. We know the orange crested chimpanzee likes to do a little dance when they're happy. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> Professor Oo. Wow, well, you really do know your stuff. And of course, we know that chimps love bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like bananas too, Professor Oo. Well, I'm sure with you along, we're going to find. An orange crested chimpanzee. <laughs> and so the four scientists set off on their exploration. Ooh, it looks like we're on the edge of the big banana forest. <laughs> headed into the big banana forest where they hope to find something very special. We're getting close, but still no sign of the orange-crested chimpanzee. Hmm. Let's go over our list again. We know that the orange-crested chimpanzee is very good at copying. Yes, and we know that they love to dance. <laughs> and they love bananas. Bananas. Loves to dance. were so happy that they danced around just like, well, like chimpanzees. I mean, orange crested chimpanzee. Time for a quick photo. <laughs> And so, the scientists went home happy and with lots of amazing photos. Come on, let's go do some more dancing. Yeah! Once there was an elf called Twinkle Toes who was very good at Wickle Stick. I love Wickle Stick. It's my favourite game in the whole world. And here come my teammates. Hi, Mary. Oh, hi, Twinkle Toes. Look at my new wickle stick. It's so wiggly. Oh, hurry up, Sparkles! I'm coming, I'm coming. I've just been practising my dribble. Ew, gross. You should do some napkin. No, not that sort of dribbling. Dribbling with the ball, like that. Oh, phew, what a real relief. And here's Pumpernickel. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I just can't wait to score some goals. Come on, team. <laughs> Let's practise for the big match against the Trolls. Yeah! yeah. Pass the ball to me, Twinkle Toes. Oh, over here, Twinkle Toes. Over here. No, to me. Pass the ball to me. Twinkle Toes never passes the ball. Go! Yeah. My turn. My turn. My turn. Here we go. I'll take it. Yeah. Hey, you can't take the ball off someone on your own team. Go! Yeah. If we don't get to pass the ball or dribble it or score any goals, what's the point in us being here? Yeah, Twinkle wants to do it all. Twinkle 
Toast doesn't even need us. Let's go home. So the next day, when it was time for the big match against the trolls, only Twinkle Toes showed up. I'm all ready for the big match against the trolls. Yeah! Hey, where is everyone? Where's the rest of my team? Did I do something wrong? Hmm, let's think. At training, I dribbled well. I scored goals well. And I passed the ball. <gasps> Never. No wonder my teammates are upset with me. I did everything myself and no one else got to go. I better go say sorry. And that's just what she did. Hey, Mary, I'm sorry I hogged the ball. Will you please come play the trolls with me? Oh, I don't know. I promise I'll pass the ball and let you score goals. Really? Oh, really, truly? Really, truly, truly? I promise from now on, I'll be the best team player ever. Oh. All right then, come on, guys. Group hug! Yes. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Now let's go play those trolls! Yeah. Pumpernickel, you take it. Oh, come on, Mary, it's yours. And so the owls were able to beat the trolls and win the big game. Now, come on, guys, let's head over there for some more fun. One sunny morning, some garden friends went for a walk when all of a sudden, they saw a mysterious flying object zoom through the sky and land nearby. Wow! What was that, Ladybird? I'm not sure. What do you think it was now? Mm, I'm not sure. But it looked like a flying saucer. Are you sure? Let's go take a look. Where'd it go? A weird fun loving friends in a big backyard. Backyard. Here we go, hip hip hooray. And then, just around the next pebble, the little bugs found the incredible flying saucer. Wow, look how big it is. It's bigger than a bee's nest. Ah, and there's strange markings on it. Oh, that could be alien writing. It's trying to talk to us. It might be one of the aliens. Hello. Uh, it's just us earthlings here. Caterpillar, snail and, and me, ladybird. It's me. It's Ant inside here. Ooh, it's our friend Ant in there. Oh, no. We've got to get her out. Let's lift the flying saucer. One, two, three, lift. So snail, caterpillar and ladybird worked very hard to lift the flying saucer to rescue their friend, Ant. Oh, phew. Thanks, everybody. I thought I'd never get out of there. But, Ant, what were you doing in there? Uh, I don't know. I was just crawling over to my favourite patch of dirt when it landed over me. Wow! Uh, Weird. Yeah. Mm. And just as they started to talk to Ant, the clouds darkened the sky and it began to rain. Oh, wonderful rain! My favourite! Oh, and look! The flying sauce is filling with water. That's what it is. It's a swimming pool. Oh, oh, oh last one is a dirty fly. <laughs> well, little did the friends know what the flying saucer really was. Do you know? That's right, a dog's water bowl. Woof, woof. Oh, this is fun. This is the best pool ever. Well, 
I guess you never know what you're going to find in your own backyard. Come on, guys, let's head over there for another song. One day, Daphne the duck was flying along when she began to wander. La, 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 flying through the beautiful blue sky. Hmm, I wonder why the sky is blue. Hey, I might go ask my friends why the sky is blue. La, 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 la. So Daphne went to visit her friend, Harry the horse. Quack. Hi, Harry. Hey, do you know why the sky is blue? Um... Well, it's, uh, hmm. Hey, I have a wandering song that helps me when I'm wandering. Do you want to sing it? Oh, yeah. I wonder, wonder, wonder why the sky is blue. I wonder, 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 do you wonder too? So much to wonder, wonder all day long. So much that's wonderful, and so I sing this song. Oh, oh, let's go see Derek the dog. He'll know why the sky is blue. Quack. So Harry and Daphne set out to visit Derek. Hi, Derek. <laughs> Hello. Why is the sky blue? Oh, that's easy. It's because, it's because blue is, is my favourite colour. I love blue. <laughs> Interesting. But pink is my favourite colour and the sky isn't pink. Oh, I hadn't thought of it like that. Hmm. Maybe we should ask Olivia the owl. She knows lots of things. Everybody knows how wise owls are. Quack. So off they went, busily wondering about why the sky is blue. Hi, Hi Olivia! <laughs> oh, you woke me up. Oh, I was dreaming about an enormous wriggly worm. Hey, Olivia, do you know why the sky is blue? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, we have a wondering song. Would you like to sing it with us? Ooh, ooh. I wonder, wonder, wonder why the sky is blue. I wonder, 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 do you wonder too? So much to wonder, wonder all day long. So much that's wonderful, and so I sing this song. Oh, I've got it! The sky is blue because of an explosion at a blue paint factory! Whoa! Whoa! An explosion? Are you sure? Oh, of course I'm sure. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I'm not so sure. Hmm. I know. We need to ask the sun. She lives in the sky, so she's bound to know. Quack! Great idea! Let's go! <laughs> Excuse me, son. Oh, hello there. How can I help? Oh, uh, we have a question. Uh, why is the sky blue? Yeah. Ah, well, many clever people wonder about this. When my sunbeams of light travel through the air to you, the air scatters my light, and this is what makes it look blue. Whoa. So it's the air that makes your white, white blue. Yep. And besides, blue goes very nicely with the clouds. Hooray! Yes! We solved the problem of why the sky is blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now that we've solved the mystery, let's go have some more fun over there. Yes! <laughs> oh, bless you. One Christmas Eve, Santa was feeling a little bit sick. Oh, 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 my nose is so runny. Oh, oh poor Santa. Your nose is redder than Rudolph's. Oh. It's just a cold, but you better go to bed because that's what the doctor ordered. But I can't go to bed. It's Christmas Eve, the busiest night of the year. How will all the children get their presents? Don't worry, Santa. We'll sort it out. Well... If you think you can manage it, there's my Santa sack and here's my red coat. Good luck and goodbye. Oh dear, we've never handled Christmas on our own before. What are we going to do? Let's put on our thinking caps. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I feel much better now. <laughs> So what are we going to do? 
Well, well, let's pack the presents and maybe an idea will come. Yeah. Ho, 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 says Santa when he's feeling well. Achoo, achoo, says Santa when he's not so slow. Tomorrow it is Christmas. What are we going to do? Got to deliver the presents to boys and girls like you. <sighs> I know. One of us can drive the sleigh. <laughs> Look at me, I don't have my sleigh driver's license. And I haven't learned to park on the roof yet. Oh, none of us have. <sighs> Maybe we can get the reindeer to deliver the presents. They know how to fly. But how will they get the presents to the children? They'll get their antlers stuck in the chimneys. Oh, what are we going to do? Children all over the world are depending on us. I know! What? The Easter Bunny. <gasps> That's a brilliant idea! Yeah, he's used to delivering millions of eggs every Easter. So, I'm sure he'll be able to handle presents. So, the elves rush to the phone to give the Easter Bunny a call. Oh, I wonder who could be calling me at this time of year. Hello? Easter Bunny speaking. Oh, oh hello? Mr. Bunny, this is Patch, the elf from the North Pole. We were wondering, are you busy tonight? Busy? No, I'm just hopping about my burrow doing my chores. Great! We don't suppose you could do us one small favour? And before you could say the night before Christmas, the Easter Bunny hopped over to Santa's workshop to help out. Hi, elves! <gasps> Hi, Easter Bunny! Can you really deliver all of the presents in just one night? Well, celebrations and special deliveries are what I do best. Been doing it for years. Hooray! Ho, 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 says Santa when he's feeling well. Ho, 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 says Santa when he's not so swell. Tomorrow is Christmas. What are we going to do? Got to deliver the presents to boys and girls like you. Much fun. Normally, I only get to visit the children once, but this year it'll be twice. Well, here is all of the presents in Santa's sleigh. Yeah, and here's a nice red cloak to oh. keep you warm on your journey. And here's a list of all the children in the world. Wow. Well, I better get hopping along. I've got a very busy night ahead of me. Oh, and I've got to keep practicing my ho ho ho. Good luck. And you know what? The Easter Bunny did a great job delivering the presents and Christmas was saved. <laughs> Come on, elves, let's run over there for some more Christmas fun. <laughs> yeah! This is a story about dancing. Once there was an amazing dancing group called the Twirly Whirlers. There was one small problem with the Twirly Whirlers. You'll see what it is. Whoa, oh, Dizzy! Yeah. Hey, guys, it's probably better if we sit down. Yeah, good idea. Oh. All that twirling and whirling was making the Twirly Whirlers dizzy. Hey, guys, we Whoa. can't keep twirling. Yeah, we'll keep spinning out. But we're the Twirly Whirlers. We twirl and we whirl. Well, I suppose we could change our name. But, but to what? what? Hey, those are some pretty fancy pants, Tubby. Yeah. Great costume for dancing. Hey, that's it. Maybe if we all wore fancy pants like these... Oh, and we danced around in them, we could call ourselves... The, the Fancy Pants! Woo! Well, we better get our costumes ready. We've got a show tonight. So the group changed their name to the Fancy Pantsers. This will be good. Woo! Hmm. 
great pants, but maybe not so great for dancing. Aww, these pants are just too fancy and flouncy. Yeah, you're right. Well, what are we going to do now? If we can't beat the fancy pantses or the twirly whirlers, what can we dance as? Well, I can do some tap dancing. Oh, I can do some jazz. I can do ballet. And I can add some hip-hop work. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, wait. Well, we can't call ourselves the twirly whirlers. Or the fancy pantses. Mm, because we're all doing our own special thing. <gasps> I know. We can call ourselves the free stylers. <gasps> waka waka, yeah! yeah. We can do everything we like! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. So the group changed their name once more. <laughs> Take it away, guys. And from then on, they were known as the Freestylers. OK, let's dance over there for another song. Yeah! Yeah! Nessie the Loch Ness Monster is a famous monster who lives in a big lake in the highlands of Scotland. One day, she was splish-splashing about when she had a problem. Splish-splash! La-la! Whee! Oh, no! I've lost me goggles. Oh, I'm going to have to go into tune and get some more. Oh, if only there was a way I could go into tune without people knowing I'm the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, I have an idea. If you want to put a smile in your day, then have some fun, come on and play. It doesn't matter if you are alone. There's lots to do when you're at home. Nessie decided to play dress-ups. Ta-da! And now I look just like a regular girl. This is great! Not one person has taken my photograph or asked for my autograph. I can go anywhere! But it wasn't long before a teacher spotted Nessie. And because it was a school day, she sent her straight to school with all the other children. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Nessie! Ooh. Actually, I'm the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, wow! But hey, you're just like us. I know. I'm playing dress-ups. Hey, cool costume. Do you want to play with us? Sure. What do I do? Oh, well, it's really easy. We're playing Chasey. Well, Rose is it. You just have to not let her touch you, OK? Here we go! I'm going to get you. If you want to put a smile in your day, then have some fun. Come on and play. It doesn't matter if you are alone. There's lots to do when you're at home. If you want to put a smile in your day, then have some fun. Come on and play. Ah! What's that? Oh, well, that's just a school bell. That just means we go to class now. Yeah. Huh? You mean there's more to school than just playing games? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's more? So Nessie went into class with her new friends. First up was show and tell. And that's how I managed to fix my bicycle. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Story. Oh. Hey, Nessie, now it's your turn for show and tell. All right. What do I do? I'll just talk about yourself. OK. Well, <clears throat> I live in a big lake and I do lots of swimming in the water with my goggles on, of course. Wow. wow. But I'm a bit shy because lots of people try to take my photograph. Oh, no. no. But now I've made lots of new friends. I love school. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Does that mean we get to go to another class? Oh. No, that means it's time to go home. Oh, already? Yeah. Oh, that's OK. We've got school tomorrow. Yeah, but it's playtime now. It is. Oh, let's dance. Yeah! If you want to put a smile in your day, then have some fun. Come on and play. Woo! It doesn't matter if you are alone. There's lots to do when you're at home. And if you want to put a smile in your day, then have some fun. Come on and play. Yeah! <laughs> oh, great dancing. I'm going to take a photograph. Oh. Everyone say, Nessie! Nessie! Nessie. 
And that's how Nessie made lots of friends and she never had to worry about hiding again. Now, come on, let's go make some more friends over there. Yeah! <laughs> Once on a beautiful reef in the sea lived a mermaid called Merrily. Hi, that's me, brushing my hair and singing for my friends. Tra la 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 la. Now, Merrily's brush was magic and made her sing beautifully. And every night, Merrily sang her friends Fishy, Crabby and Seahorse to sleep. Oh, time for our sleepy song, Merrily. My fins are tired from swimming. I can't wait to go to sleep. Ready, Merrily? <laughs> But the next day, something very unexpected happened. Oh, oh no! Where's my brush gone? It's disappeared. I'll have to try and sing without it. Under the sea. <laughs> ah, under the sea. La, la, la. Bouncing barnacles! Oh, what's that noise? Oh. Oh, sound like a shock with a toothache. La! Merrily! I'm sorry, guys. I've lost my magical brush, and now my voice just isn't any good. Oh, well, don't worry, Merrily. We'll help you look for your missing brush. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. What am I going to do? Maybe if I practice, it might help. La! La! And while Merrily practised her singing scales, her friends swam all around looking for the magic brush. Hmm, no brush here. <gasps> what pretty coral. I bet Merrily liked that. Ooh, what an interesting looking sponge. Oh, well, it's not Merrily's brush, but I'm sure it'll cheer her up. Oh, I can't find her brush anywhere. But I bet you'll love this beautiful seashell. Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah. So the three friends swam back to Merrily to show her what they had found. La, 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 la. <gasps> Merrily, we couldn't find your brush anywhere, but we brought you some fantastic presents. <gasps> yeah, some coral. Oh, look, and a sponge. <sighs> and a lovely shell. Wow, they're all beautiful. And you know what? If I put them all together, I can make a brand new brush. Hooray! <laughs> oh, and I've got some wonderful news. While you were away, I practiced and practiced and practiced, and now my singing voice has improved. Tra la 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 la. Wow! But you know, the best thing of all is that I have three great friends. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So Merrily had a new brush and a brand new voice and everyone got some sleep. Okay, let's cuddle over there for another song. Yeah!